and let's see if everything's good to go. Starting up, and we are live. Awesome. Okay, so I just had lunch. Very good. Um, I just realized I stopped before entering, and now I gotta do this again. Which is fine. No biggie. I thought I could sneak by. Alright, whatever. No biggie. No biggie at all. Right. Use it again. So beautiful. the music. Well, I love the music in this game, but I love the music in Forest Haven. It just fills me with so much joy. So I realized I forgot to do something. Yeah, I'm totally a profesh. There's my ring light. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's better. All right, so beautiful. I wish this place was real. I would never leave. I would just like lay in the water forever. Uh oh. Uh oh. Adolescence has kicked in for the great Deku tree. <laughs> second playthrough you can actually see and he's like oh you're the hero that's pretty much all he says I must apologize I was in error I saw your clothing and suddenly I felt the longing for an age gone by the longing caused ancient tongue to pass my lips I am the guardian of this forest haven the deck of tree I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures tell me was it not the king of red lions the boat who speaks who led you to this place uh -huh. so it's true then you have come here because you need the Pearl of the Goddess. I see. I knew there was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand it. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Koroks, little children of the woods, this travel is not your enemy. Let your heart be at ease and show yourselves. Oh, I wish Koroks were real. I would take care of them and give them so many hugs and snacks. They're so cute! What do you call yourself, Feywin? Well then, Feywin, these are the Koroks of the Spirit Forest. Once upon a time, long ago, the Koroks took on human forms, but when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. They used to be the children in Ocarina of Time of the Korok. You got it? Okay. Uh, now they fear people, but to me, they will they will ever be my cherished little children. I want to be their mother. I want to mother them to death. As it happens, you've come in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold once a year. It's about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to you once the ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the, beef, for the brief delay. If the ceremony is not complete soon, an ill fate could befall us. So let us begin. Are you ready, my children? <laughs> we are not, oh great Deku Tree! Something terrible has happened! It's Makar! Makar! What's the matter, Linder? You and Makar are always late. <laughs> no, it's not that! Oh great Deku Tree, Makar fell into the Forbidden Woods! <gasps> what? The Forbidden Woods? I told him to be careful! 
careful, but still Makar flew above the Forbidden Woods, and as soon as he drew close to it... Foolish little Makar. Faewon, you have heard all of this. The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hollowed island of our forest haven. Those woods, the whole region is a vile place for the home of evil beasts. And now it seems they've taken a child into the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, indeed. The King of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I'm sorry to ask you of this, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? Of course. Makar jingles when he shakes. When he walks, he does jingle. Okay, anyways. But great deco tree, people cannot fly through the air. Ah, yes, thank you, child. You are right. It is not possible to enter the woods from the sea, is it? Faewon, I would guess from your size that you are heavier than my cart. Wow, is that a fat joke? <laughs> yeah, we may still be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you to fly through the sky. This sounds like you took a big shit. And shit out of a magical leaf for us to use. <laughs> Forgive me, Faewon, but could you climb up the crown and get the great leaf up there? Yeah, no problem. I can do that. Ease peas. All right. Oh, they're so cute. the leaf. Which is probably one of the coolest items in the game, I think. Uh, you can fly around. Swordsman, over here! <laughs> Please, you must fly from over there if you're using your great deck of leaf. Okay, I will. I guess if you ask. You asked nicely, so I will. Um... Cause that's the thing that way. Let's try to go this way. For a sec. Ah. I think, oops. I think this is how you unlock. Ah, yes. The Nintendo Photography Place. Okay. Um, we can fly there, but there's a, there it is, it's right down there, okay. This is why I got the hoi pears. I'm not even sure that's how you pronounce it, but whatever. No. Yes. All right. What? might need a boomerang. Well, I could fly down there. But then... Well... Alright, well, I'm not sure if we're gonna do the photography thing anyway. And also, you could use that pair I think somewhere else. I don't know. Basically, I don't care right now to do the photography thing. That can be more if we've like beat the three heart challenge and we're over it. A shizer. No! Oh, that's what happens when you don't pay attention. Alright. Well, we'll get there. It's no big deal. I messed up. A 
also like how they added that little landing thing. They very much did not have that before in GameCube. You kind of had to just guess. Be like, oh man, I hope it lands. All right. Let's do it. So first, you're gonna stand here and you're gonna wanna change the wind. This is a far way to travel with the mats that you start out with. And you're definitely, so, yeah. Wind has changed. Okay. Um. And let's go. So yeah, you basically just barely make it. Yeah. So, get more magic. On the island. And to that. Okay, then we have to switch the wind again. To... Yes. Um, and then you have to time it pretty well with the uh, cyclone. Usually, you don't want to do it too early, so it's like, yeah, when it's right here, I would say right about now is good. It can be a little finicky, but we got it. Now we have to try to avoid these pea hats, which... No, okay. <laughs> Usually. Um, there's only been a rare, a rare few times. You grab some more magic and just get in. Um, so I'm feeling like dealing with the pea hats. And welcome to the Forbidden Woods. Straighten out my hair. I just looked at the stream and saw how funky it was. Alright, that's better. Okay. So... I'll just get this. I don't feel like dealing with it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Got the dungeon map, which should be helpful. Alright, I'm not. Okay, probably should get these guys out of the way. they make. I wonder, like, what they did for recording to... Okay. Alright. And... We move on. Okay. Um, I'm gonna actually go down and do this. Well... Actually, think. Hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I, if there's no like. I think you need the boomerang. This is something you'd come back and get. And I think it's something stupid like a joy pendant as well. It's not even anything good. Um, yeah. We're gonna move. We're gonna move on. That is not where I need to go. Alright, there we go. Okay. I 
I love these things. I think it's a great integration they made to the Zelda series. Well, this game in specific. I haven't seen it in any other game. I would not be mad if this, if those, whatever they're called, made a return. They're fun. of getting bombed off, which I have before, trust me. Oh, I swear I got it. There we go. Don't even need to check for that. Okay. Also, I remember for the longest time, I would I think it was like, I would try to get that and I couldn't and it was like, I don't know. It was a thing and I couldn't figure it out. These things do. Oh no! Okay, good. It re regroup pretty fast. It's gonna be like these things disintegrate very fast as I chuck it across the room. Okay, so I need to drop it. Like that. And there's a chest down there, but I'm pretty sure it's a joy pendant. And this is not. A oh! That was cheap, but anyways, I guess we're getting this chest, since we're here. All right, what a pleasant surprise. Eh. Man. All right, let's get it right this time. Grab it, don't throw it. Drop it. Drop. And then also wait for the thing to stop swinging like crazy before I jump over. All right, pick it up. Okay. Jump. Okay. And yay, we did it. We did it. Well, I did it. <laughs> This puzzle also took me forever to get. But I'm a pro now, so. Yeah. Boom! Big flower boy. Lots of green boys. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this temple, but I always remind myself it's actually pretty short, so it's like, ah, I can get through it. Oh, I knew that would happen! Crap! I was like, oh, I should wait. No, I shouldn't. Uh, mm, 
Eh, uh, I'll just go for it. And then, this is what I was just talking about earlier. If you fall, you fall. You gotta get back up. Not a big deal, but it's not. Well, actually, yeah, this is exactly where we were before. Not a huge deal, but still, it's just like, ugh. Like, you don't have to be skilled to hop on this thing. It's literally just hop and wait, hop and wait. It's a timing skill. Okay. Right? There we go. Come on. Mm. I hate, I hate. Well, we're here, so I'm just gonna get the chest. Might as well. Yellow rupees, not too shabby. Spiky boys. Okay, well, I'm gonna try to just get up. Come on, up, up, up. Alright. I'm good. There we go. Got 10 roops. No more spiky boys. Alright, uh, fun tip is that I usually like to cut the grass as I start walking to have an idea of the actual path. I kind of already know the path, but it's just kind of nice to be like, oh, you know. Um, come on. No. Get up. Get up, get up, get up. This is the compass, I believe. Yeah, because we got the map in the beginning. It's a compass, called it. Okay, so, you, I mean, you don't have to get the compass. You could just also skip. And I'm gonna open that up. I'm not sure if it got, oh, it did, cool. All right, and then, yeah, look, it's easy. You just follow the path that you've already cut. You already know where you're going. Okay, it's back to the beginning. Unlock the other door. Ease peas. And then you can get out of here easily. Just flying back. And I have looked up there. There's just like a jar. It's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth further exploring that room, in my opinion. Okay. No. Ah! Ah! Alright, I'm not dealing with any of this. We're out of here. We are out of that area, out and done with it. Okay. Getting some muns. All right, let's get that pee hat out of the way. Can't wait to get the boomerang. Make my life so much easier. Boomerang's my, it's not the most creative weapon, because obviously I think the leaf is, um, but as far as usefulness, definitely the most favorite, most useful weapon in Windmaker. In my opinion. All right, well. And 
and we're about to get the boomerang soon. All right. This when we have the boomerang, it'll be way easier. Alright, mini boss time. They get to poop stuff at us. Hello! Okay. Got my got my feather! Should probably start using my shield, maybe. There we go. Yes, got it. When'd you get the wings off? It's like easy piece. Most useful weapon in this game. I finally have the boomerang. All right, I'm gonna equip that right now. Oh, okay. Ah, yes. Ta-da! Alright, watch out the pads for now that I have the boomerang. Boom. Maybe. Well, alright. Not a good example. There we go. You can just get rid of pads left and right. Okay. Preparing us for the boss. No? Yes? There we go. Just need to get it out of my way. <laughs> Maybe? Come on. Alright, there we go. Okay. This part seems tricky because it doesn't seem like you can fly over, but you totally can. Pendant, which you always need at least twenty one. All right, let's bring this flower down. Boom, we are almost done with this dungeon. East piece, Godzilla. What are you doing watching my stream? Yep. All right, if I remember the buttons. Oh. All right, or just get the grass. Okay, and then you can actually, okay. I'm still getting used to this controller and the buttons. You can actually board at work. Hell yeah. What's up, my guy? You should just leave. <laughs> I used to watch YouTube at work. They blocked Twitch though at my old job um, because the intern kept watching it on full screen. Which, um, yeah. 
That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> yep. to go in that area on the side first. Um, are you gonna use a... How? Oh, F, sorry. I was reading your... I was reading your chat and I wasn't paying attention. Okay. I, I don't know if there's something I'm not getting, but I've never heard of that being done. my time to shine. I do, I talk so much game about Wind Waker, but then I come and stream it, and I'm like, oh! Yeah. Alright. life so much easier. Alright, so that... No, this is not where you get the boss key. I don't know what I'm talking about. Actually, I don't think you even need to be in this room, but we're already here. So... We're just gonna do it. Uh, you get the secret... You get a secret water in a bottle. Huh. I think I know what you're talking about because there is sacred water. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know what you're, I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, the sacred water. Um, is it like a one-hit thing? Because that would be a lot of fun to try. I'd have to exit the temple and everything. But it wouldn't take me that long, I don't think. But I also would want to do it if it was just a rumor. I am like... 99% yeah you don't need this room this is um okay well we're just gonna leave because you don't need this is I believe it's a treasure map I don't check and think you can get like a piece of heart but since we're doing the three heart challenge we don't care it's a one hit thing okay I've never done that I really want to try it now ah they moved that back Excellent. So I'm I mean I'm gonna get to the boss and I'll um I'll for sure try it out. That sounds awesome. Um I'm gonna save. Just because I've gotten pretty far. Come on. what I meant to do. Is the one hit thing, if you're, if you're already looking it up, um, or no information about it, is that Wind Waker, is that, um, Wii U exclusive, or was that in GameCube as well? If you don't know, that's fine. Ah, here's the boss key. Excellent. I hate this puzzle because I never really understood it. And I still don't. And I just kind of like look and do random stuff. And usually it works out. That didn't work. I think you start here. Two. All 
All right, definitely not. <laughs> um. the Wind Waker Master, I say. As I don't know. I've literally beaten this game like 20 times. I still don't really understand the pattern of this. Alright. That's not it. Um. Two. Guess that's why it's a boss key thing. Ah! I do every time. I don't really know the answer. I just do it until it works. <laughs> you got the big key. Big bad key. Alright. Big bad key, big bad guys. challenge I should probably start being more careful but I know I won't all right get that skull necklace and let's get out of here maybe not <laughs> yeah we can get to the entrance of the boss because it has I think one of those warp things to the beginning hopefully we can leave because I know there's like a there's like a thing or like if you jump down, it'll like bring you back. So. entrance to the boss room. Maybe. Well, 
I'll get close. Aha! Here we are. All right, sweet. So let's unlock it. So we can easily get back here and we're gonna, I really wanna try the fairy in a bottle stuff. Wah. Excellent. Let's go back. See if we can swing it. All right, so I'm gonna save just in case. Because Godzilla earlier, my computer did the thing where the screen was blue and I was not happy about the screen being blue. All right. And that way. Yeah, it works. Close enough. And let's see if we can make it. Because I know if you swim from the island to there, you make it just barely without drowning. Oh no! See, it does the thing. Crap. Where if you jump off. I'm not able to do it. Yeah, so if I'm just like jump off and I'm like, oops. Uh, so I'm basically stuck in here. Ah, uh, damn, I really wanted to do that. But we can't. All right, well, I tried so hard, got so far in the end, didn't even matter. I have a fairy saved away from last time we didn't use with the boss, so let's save the cutest little Korok in the world, Makar. Oh! He's so cute! I can't take it, ready? Ready? Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Look at him! <laughs> He's hopping. Oh my goodness. He's so fat too, he's so chubby. Oh my goodness. No! All right, let's teach this big bad plant a lesson. Woo! Let's do it. All right. Usually right away you can get a, you can get a hit in. The important thing about this fight, and honestly, really any fight, is to keep moving, so... They're searching for C. And you can go and do more. They do grow back, if anyone's wondering. So you want to do this more fast. And honestly, like, getting hit, I think, is like that. I, it's not a big deal. Because of the time thing. Ah, okay. Again, just try not to stay in one place for too long. As you can see, they're already growing back. I don't know why it's not hitting. Come on. Thank you. Alright. Let's fuck it up! And for this, I just, I don't care if it closes on me. Get as many hits in as you can. It's like not a big deal. Like, oh no, I lost some hearts. You just go here. Well, usually. Look, got more hearts. NBD, as the kids say. Okay. Love the glitch. Okay, come on. Two more to go. Boom. Okay, or not. Come on. Let's do it. Yeah, there's been one time where I almost got it all in one hit, and sometimes you only get a few hits. I don't know, it's... It's weird. All right. 
right, this next hit, I'm pretty sure is it. We've got this, guys. Yeah! So we couldn't do the water thing. Um, I wish I would have known before I came in, but whatever, we did it. Oh, hi! So cute! Oh, so cute, so chubby, chunky. Such a sweetie. Oh, swordsman, are you the one who rescued me? You have my thanks. When all went dark around me, I thought my time on Earth was over. But why are you here, swordsman? What? The great Dick Deku Tree sent you? Oh, that's right. Today is the day of our annual ceremony. Oh, I'm in trouble. I shouldn't be here. I must get out of here immediately. All right, so let's recover some hearts just because that beeping noise is not cute. It's not fun. It's not fresh. All right, and we are skipping getting that heart because this is the three heart challenge, bitches. We're out of here. Cute little Makar is coming with us. So cute. Again, I wish Makar was real. He's so fat and he jingles when he walks and he's sitting on your head. Oh. It's my favorite part about the the earth. No, not the the wind temple. It's having him follow you around. Oh, Makar, you have returned safely. Oh, I'm sorry, great like. Literally, Makar could murder my entire family, make that noise and look like that, and I'd be like, it's okay, you're so cute, oh my god. I'm sorry, Great Deku Tree, I know you warned us many times, but I still did not listen. <laughs> Do not worry, Makar, you're safe now, just be more careful from now on. You've done well, Feiwen, I must thank you for your brave deeds. And you're welcome. Here is what I have promised you, please accept it. Received Feora's Pearl. The Earth Spirit Deku Tree has sent, seen fit for you to get this jewel. Da -da 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 -da. It is my hope that this pearl shall lead you to a fair destiny. All is well, Makara. Do not cry. Oh, please play your song for me as you always do. Also, another fun Wind Waker fact is I started playing the violin because of Makar. Even though it looks like he's playing a cello because he's so small and cute, he's actually playing a violin, and that's what inspired me to play a violin for three or four years. This game has a big influence on me. <laughs> I'm sorry to keep you all waiting. Let the ceremony begin. Ah, oh, you're so cute. Oh, great, Feiwen. As my thanks to you, I shall play even harder than I normally do. I hope you enjoy it. I will enjoy it. I always enjoy it. Ah, so cute. I can't take it. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> His face. Oh! Oh my goodness. Great Deku Tree, this year you have once again produced some splendid seeds. With these seeds, we will continue to spread new forests across the Great Sea. Let us go, Koroks, to the sea! See you all next year! Take care! Farewell, great swordsman. May the winds of chance bring us together again someday. Bye-bye! And that's a crazy side quest, too, to do later. Which, again, I'm not... And then, yeah, this cutie just sits here and practices. Ugh. Thank you, Feywin, for all you've done for me. How is my performance? Did it suit your taste or no? This instrument is the one the great Deku Tree gave me on the day of my birth. He said it's an instrument that my people played long, long ago. It has taken long hours of practice for me to be able to perform at the level I do now. Eight of my fellow Koroks have set out on a journey to create new forests in the world. Both Hollow, who studies making potions, and I are always on the island. Please come see us here again. We'll be waiting for you. So yeah, that's a little foreshadowing to anyone that's played the game. Oh, no, I don't. I'm sorry. I love you, but 
Yes, of course, I'll come back to see you. Are you kidding me? I'd rather die than not come back to see you. You're so cute! All right, so you can come in here. Oh, amazing. He's so cute. Hello. Yeah, this is Hollow that he was talking about. And you can um, trade the little Boca, ba Boca, ba Boca Baba seeds to get a potion. Um, yeah, seeds of the flowers, the mountains, and the forbidden woods. You know about the seeds? I do. So, um, yeah, I mean, I just use berries and grandma soup and stuff. I usually don't use hollow, but it is a resource for you to use if it's something you're curious about. Look at, hold on. Ugh, I'm sorry I have to do this. I'm sorry I'm like this, but like. Look at his butt! Oh my god, he's got a little tail! Oh my god. Okay, I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna explode from how cute he is. God, why can't they be real? All right, let's blow this popsicle stand. Um, yep, you can take this waterfall and I'll bring you right down to Bodie McBoatface. And then, yeah, there's a mail, but I'm not going to grab it because it's the three heart challenge. I obviously can get three heart pieces before I get another heart. Um, do you have anything to say? Okay, so this place too has been tacked. Lies no oh, that's right. Okay. Yep. Northwest. So we're going to go start our adventure. In that I'm gonna take another quick break. Northwest. Do you say northwest? Yeah. My memory is terrible. <sighs> Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Cruise back over here. Let me talk to you again. I wanna make sure it's northwest so I don't it doesn't seem right. Okay, place marsh. <laughs> doesn't help. It is northwest. Okay, perfect. Yep. I just have a terrible memory. I don't want to waste anyone's time, including, and most importantly, my own. All right. Set sail. So the island up ahead, my first, is that your, I think that's the, um, the resort cottage, I don't really know what to call it, cottage resort thing. It is, I am right. And that's where you need 21, not 20, but 21. Uh, I'm still doing good. Joy pendants. What is it? It's not a resort. I don't know. I can't believe a teacher out of all the people in this game has this secret island resort getaway. You'd think it'd be, I don't know, anybody else. Ugh, funny. And that ahead is one of the... Um, they're not called Diamond Islands, but they're like the Domino Islands. That's, again, like... I wish they had more islands like Windfall Island, where there's a bunch of side quests to do. Um, just people to interact with. Because really, besides Dragon Roost, 
outset and windfall. It's, that's it. It's three islands. And that's also another criticism I have of Breath of the Wild, was it's just like you have this vast open space. Why not utilize it more? Why not make more towns and more side quests and more e even just people to interact with? Like, even if it's just one person with a house. Um, I don't know. That was always my feeling about it. Um, and I'm hoping they do that in Breath of the Wild, too, because they already have the layout, if they are using the map that I was talking about. <sighs> Maybe after this I'll play Breath of the Wild or Twilight Princess. I still don't know. I feel like I'd rather play Breath of the Wild. I could stream a lot with Breath of the Wild because there's so much to explore. It's so many shrines, but I don't know as much about it oh, as I do. All right. Twilight Princess and obviously Wind Waker. So. I don't know if I can do the three hour challenge with Breath of the Wild. That would be really, really hard. Okay, let's make sure we're going the right way. Uh, we're straying off a little bit, so let's go more like this. I think that's Tingle Island up ahead. But yeah, now that you've beaten the second boss, you have free range of the entire world. Oh, yeah, 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 we need to go this way. To this, you know, island, huh? I wonder what happened to it. Who knows? Oh, we're near Triangle Island, I think. No. These guys are really obnoxious. giant pea hats, basically. be spoilery but we have to do the thing after this and then the other temple well the other the other ah, I don't know that might take a lot of time in fact I might just keep streaming through until we get to the next temple then take a break and then see what time it is and see if I can keep going but how long have I even been streaming it doesn't right. tell me who knows hey Look, when you see what's happened to this place, it doesn't look good. It's a great fish isle. What, what's the meaning of it? The island, it is. We're too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jabun? Juban? I always said Juban. Once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Hoi there, Feiwen! Bird friend! So you're here, I've been looking for you. Are you by chance by seeking the great spirit Juban? I'm sorry to report that Juban can no longer be found here. Just look at this place, it's been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not, Juban was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where abode he might be? On the island where you were born, on Outset. Yet even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Juban. The cave is where he hides, is sealed away with a mighty stone slab that repels all who tries to pass it. Why, not even the pirates and their mighty ship could get it. I must apologize, Feywen. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought of the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. It's lucky they could not gain the entrance. I have heard they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what, I do not know. If you wish to see Juban, I think you better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else, 
boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds of rain. Belu must have been right when he asked me to bring you the word of Javan. He called this island cursed. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to. But that is your decision. I have told you of Javan, so my task is complete. All right, bye bye. All right, so we're gonna wanna travel northeast. Okay. Wind has changed. All right, so Jabon has survived. This, the sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the Rita Postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Javon hides. Why don't we go to Windfall first and search for them? Yeah, 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 that's what I was doing. Yeah, dingus. Yeah, the Postman talks about clear skies, but throughout this whole thing, I guess maybe you start to be cursed and you, it just rains and rains and it's dark and eerie. Um, oops, this is not what I wanted to do. Nope, nope, nope. Come on. Set sail. I was trying to see if I could change the map. Alright, I can't. Alright, it's fine. Um. Yeah, the, the Wii U version of this game is so much, so much easier in so many little ways. That y'all don't even understand. So that's Tangle Island. Oh, excuse me. Um, and we are almost there. So yeah, you pass through Tangle Island, and then you head to Windfall. And I was just about to say this. Every time you pass through Tangle Island, this motherfucking shark is always on your ass. Um, and if you don't move, he'll just swim right in front of you. But as soon as I move left to right, so yeah, right now, just swimming in front. And as you can see, there is windfall straight ahead. Okay. And this shark will follow you all the way to windfall. So if you ever pass through Tinkle Island, that's what happens every time. But you just jump. I never kill it. Um, I've never had like issues where it's gonna knock me off my boat because you just ready, boop, you just jump. Um, yeah, it's just obnoxious because you use the music. But we're almost to windfall. And I actually love this part of the game because it's really cool that there's this part that's not like a temple, but it's feel side questy, but it's, I don't know, I really like it. It's just different, something new. I told y'all, the shark follows you all the way if you pass through Tinga Island to Windfall. I thought it was something they'd fix the Wii version, but not even a little bit. Oh well. have arrived. It's just as the postman told us, the pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. I know not what they are researching, but if they're hoping to get their hands on Juban's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Baywin, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without telling them finding out about you. It's gonna be a slithery snake. So slither and sneaky. Um, yeah. So, pirates are in here. Derp a derp. We need to sneak in through the back. Sneak in. Come on. Sidle. 
There we go. the vines be the slither is oh no slither is little come on get in ready ready a slither is a little snack Don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely got to have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as a payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? I love the corporate awareness that Wind Waker has because honestly, when you go into the spa place, which I didn't do, but when you do, he does, he sells, like, it's like one bomb for like, I don't know, something stupid, like 500 rupees. And it's right, nobody else sells bombs, so what a monopoly. What a jerk. <laughs> he deserves it. So I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh! Oh yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set eyes on that penguin, I just knew he was hiding something back at outset. Yeah, even though we knew nothing. So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Good work, Gonzo, really. Just top notch. It's funny, though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit. Such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra's smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, which I always found this is creepy because Tetra, I think, is like maybe 10, 11, 12, and he looks like he's like 30. That kid would have the greatest pirate to set sail, sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. You idiot, keep your mouth shut. Yeah, don't be so stupid. Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can you dock him pay some pay or something? Quit goofing, goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourselves and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for outside. <laughs> what? Miss, we have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? Because Nico's pirate deck is filled with puzzles instead of food. <laughs> How about we we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, uh, I, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss. Is what I meant, is what it means to say. It's just that the boys and I, the lads, 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 we're so excited to come to town, and I can't help but think it would be awful hard of them to leave so soon without a pop proper layover. So... What say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure ain't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Right, lads? Who's out for a night of fun? Aye, aye. <laughs> They're just like, oh. <laughs> You're all fools. Do you know that? You saw that demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry on to outside or the same thing could happen there. Oh. True motivation. Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but that's how the sounds of things. You're more worried about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, treasure. Aww, Tetra looking out for her boy. Alright, fine. Have it your way. We leave town tomorrow, you big babies. We're setting up sail at first light, so no sleeping in. Understood? <laughs> Aye, aye. Say there, brother. What's today's password again? Mako, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. Today's password is Schooner, yeah? Remember. Okay, Schooner. Got it. You know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. He's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's password is Schooner, yeah? Schooner, eh? <laughs> I love how they just like leave him tied up. It's like starved to death, bitch. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right. So I'm trying to think if there's anything important to do on outset or sorry, windfall. Besides just the pirate thing while we're here. I don't, well, could get the day and night song, but you don't really need it because we're not doing the picture thing. Uh, yeah, nothing that comes too yeah. important in my mind, so we're yeah. just gonna do this. If I remember, then we can go back and do it, obviously. I can sail upon the water, I can be filled with it. With it. I am a... Schooner. What? Alright, I guess we need a capital S. Okay. We're in. That's all that matters. Now, this is something that I have a question about. I even posted it on Meverse back in the day. So you go into Tetris' room. So cute. So pretty. She got a picture of you right next to her bed. Um, damn. Thirsty. Um, picture of the map thing that you do later. Picture of Hyrule. Picture of flowers. But then... And you can't really, can't really lock into it. But then there's this picture of this random woman, which I guess, my guess is maybe it's her mom. But obviously this was put in here for a reason. You could never see, I believe in GameCube because it was all blurry and crap. But if anybody has any inkling as to what that picture is, I would yeah. love to know. Because I have yet to find the answer. All right, it's Nico time. It's puzzle time. Oh, Feywin, my old suave Feywin. So you're alive. All oh, the other pirates said you'd done in by that bird monster, the Forsaken Fortress. So I thought, never mind what I thought. You're alive. Oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my suave so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder, which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. How would he know that? Anyways, but I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. All right, why don't we set you next to your test taunt? This is one that's harder than the last. Good luck, you'll need it. As you can see here, lanterns. All right, I'm not reading this. Platforms, I get it. So it's timed by the lanterns. No, it's timed by the cage. The cage will close if you don't get it in enough time. And this is where you get the bombs that you need to move on. Um, okay, so the switch, bombs, give it your best shot. Okay. So this is a little harder than the last, but my my controls are a lot better this time. So, let's get to it. Yeah. And the lanterns, they move. Um, let's go down. Back and forth, like so. Ah, uh, come on, I really want to get that. Ah. Uh, wasn't meant to be. All right, well, oh, yeah, we'll just do this. All right, so get it. Start, okay, stop, move this way. So yeah, you don't really need to land on the platforms, but I, I think you can, I don't think it's like a big ordeal if you do. You can just like jump back and get to it. Alright, get here, and then alright, last but not least. Ease peas. See what happens when my controls don't suck? Alright, what you gotta done You did it already! You are you are incredible. This isn't good. I've never even passed this test. How could you do it so quickly and make it look so easy? Never give this to him, everyone low for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. Uh, okay. You're the best swabby of all time, so I guess I'll give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious, I'm really serious, okay? Okay? All right, let's get these bombs. Let's get these bombs and get out of here. <laughs> the 
That's my as courageous of you trying to steal treasure from pirates. That's a stone. I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking how badly they could go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did was because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just how do you intend on using those bombs anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Juban's treasure too. <sighs> right, now Juban is hiding in the cave on the island you are born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking out down the door. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer, but we'll be leaving for outside first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Javon tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning, and believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You better be quick, kid. Alright. See what he says. Wow, awesome, you have a stone just like the one Miss Tetra has. Hey, how do you use that thing? Can you talk to Miss Tetra through that? Man, you're so lucky. You're just standing not even a foot away while I had a conversation with her. Ugh. Simple-minded little rat like Nico. And I always like to do this. Because honestly, Nico kind of deserves it. <laughs> Bye, Nico. <laughs> Have fun. Alright. So we did the thing. Alright. Let's just stop in the little coffee shop just to see what the pirates are doing. Because it's always fun. I don't think... Yeah, Tetra doesn't go. But also, fun fact is it stays night. Like, all night. Oh, close all night for pirate party. How cute. Okay. I want to go to a pirate party. Gosh. Why can't I join? Okay. Yep. Okay. That's not what I meant to do. So, outset is southwest of where I am right now. It is quite the travel. As soon as we get arrows, we are getting the warping thing. Okay. Oh. Well done. Our preparations are complete. But the girl says it's true. The pirates won't be leaving until morning. We must meet with Juban and get the pearl from him before they arrive. Let's delay no longer. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's get out of here. There we go. All right. Ugh. Take a little stretch break while I sail. Ooh, okay. Ugh. Um. Yeah, and then when you get to outside, you have to do the fairy thing. Juban thing. Oh, and then the Triforce thing. And then I think after that we'll take a break and I'll see where we are. forward to this. <laughs> um, yeah, we're passing through Tingle Island and there's the shark again. Alright. The shark is going to lead us to victory. You can see the Great Fish 
tile that's destroyed. The shark, it's just leading us like things. And it just, it does, it follows you forever. All right, we're getting there. We are getting there. All right, perfect. the little things that they did um, in the HD version, like even in the corner, how it shows like bombs, Wind Waker, and the claw without having to get out bombs or any of those items. It just makes it so much easier. Or this this sailcloth is no longer an item. You just press A and it comes up. So good job, Nintendo. 10 out of 10. Okay, I moved, so. Now I think we're dealing with Shark Boy. Two sharks now? Oh my god. All right. Three sharks? No! All right, then. Bye. Bye, friends. No. A little friend. Friend is back. from almost the top of the map to the bottom of the map, so. Wish we could have the bow and arrows, which is warped there really fast. Um, one of the best items in this game, well not items, but abilities, is to warp. Um, they didn't add that in Skyward Sword, which I was surprised because it's kind of similar with the open layout, moving around stuff, but nope, no warping. Love Skyward Sword. <laughs> All right, so. I was gonna say, yeah, there's a cutscene where it just brings you to the island. <laughs> the boat's freaking out. Do -do -do -do. Have you noticed, Faye, when morning is not broken since we arrived at Greatfish Isle, the land that was so ravaged by monsters, um, it is as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse Valu spoke of. Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we will not worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might be not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family after such a long time away. We can speak with Jabon after you do. Okay. Let's go talk to our friends. And now there's monsters on the island, so we should go see Grandma first. See how she's holding up. We've been 
gone for quite some time. Oh, it's sad music. Oh, Grandma. Oh, uh. Feywen, Errol, don't go, don't leave. Don't leave your poor old grandma all alone. <gasps> no, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. All right, well, we have a fairy that has been, a very sad looking fairy that we have not used. So we can heal our good Jima. When I first did this and it healed me, I was like, oh my goodness, but. Also, I love that little blanket. It's so cute and I want it. Oh. Oh. Oh, Feywin, is that you? Feywin, Grandma's always happy to see your bright, smart, shining face. Oh, Grandma's are the best. Feywin, my dear, my sweet Feywin. You're safe, that's wonderful, just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. Oh, that's right. You and your sister, Errol, are trying so hard to be strong, and I've just been sitting here moaning and worrying. Like a bitch! <laughs> I'm your grandmother. I'm the one that should be taking care of you. Oh my god, so sweet. I'm so sorry, Baywin. I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a ter- Stop! You're not a terrible grandma! Oh, I wish she was my grandma. Faywin, this is all I have to give you right now. You can keep it an empty bottle. Uh, you got Alexa soup. The soup rules. You get two helpings inside. So sweet. You and your sister love the soup, don't you? If you run out, I can make it for you anytime you like. <laughs> Grandma's gonna be strong, so you try to be strong too. <laughs> but don't do anything reckless. All right. Oh, I just want to give her a hug. My dear sweet Feywin, whenever you have an empty bottle. Okay, so yeah, now you can come back here anytime you want and get grandma soup, which is the best potion you can get, but you can only get one bottle of it. You can't get all the bottles of it or else that would rule. So, we healed grandma, but let's go visit our friends. And we can also go to that fairy fountain too. And, um, Replace that fairy in the bottle as well since we're hanging out. All right, let's go see. Oh, I'm pushing sharks here. <laughs> ah, Faywin, you're all right. Why did you not tell me about Errol? That was thoughtless of you. It was. I called it from the beginning. I was saying, why don't you tell an adult? Why don't you tell him, a swordsman, that could have saved... This island has seen hard times since you departed. I do not know what you've been doing in your journey, but you seem a little daring these days. The look in your eye is not the one you left here with. Very good. Show me how much you improved your skills. Not now. We can do that later. And also, I think you get a heart piece or something if you do it. And obviously, this is the three heart challenge. I can only get three heart pieces before I fail. So, we'll be a little more careful. Let's go see Big Head and his daughter. Not Big Head. She's so cute. And, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, Feywin, you've come back. And in one piece, too. Gracious. This island has fallen on hard times lately, my young lad. You must have noticed all the monsters on your way here tonight. They come after dark to ravage our poor village. And yet, it seems they are not here to harm us villagers. Quite puzzling. Is that it? Did you see them? They come out after dark. Is is that you, Feywin? Well, it looks as though you're safe. That's good to know. The island has really taken a turn from the worst since you left. I'm sure you've noticed them. The monsters. I'm scared. Too scared. Feywin, are you alright? Just didn't stay outside long. Um, I'm fine. So yeah, some monsters have started to uh, appear. Alright, let's head up. And oh boy, two pigs are missing and one has grown. Let's see how this little family's doing. After they ate our friends. Horrible people. All right. Oh, Phelan, you made it back. Nasty thing has been happening here at night since you left in the boat. You'd better come home early today and don't come out to play until long after the sun has risen tomorrow. Um, oh wait, what did he say? It's too dangerous to walk around outside at night. I'm being serious here. If 
you want to play with the boys, come back after the sun is up. The boys will be here ready. Oh, I thought he was offering me a place to stay, but he's just... I'm so glad you're safe, Faywood. They've all been so worried. The boys will be surprised to hear you've returned just as soon as they wake up, that is. Oh, you're the mother of the snot man. It's not cute. It's disgusting. There's just one more house across the way. And then we can head up to the fairies, fairy fountain. All right, we'll just skip that. And then we can get our last little orb. Okay, there you are. Eh, ah, Feywin, is that you? Feywin, whoa. You kind of startled me there, buddy. I thought more of those monsters had come to harass me. I tell you, there have been a lot of strange things going on here at night lately. I haven't, um, I haven't gotten a good night's sleep in ages because of it, and I love sleep. In fact, I saw something really odd just a little while ago. Of course, this was back before the bridge was destroyed. It was up in Fairy Woods near the old dried up fountain. There was a tall girl who glowed like a fairy, Okay, yeah, I got it. Wait, that's crap. <laughs> that's not what I meant. Um, so yeah, basically this guy, he stays up all night and then sleeps during the day because he's that terrified of the monsters. And that's funny. gonna go find that fairy as well. I think she enhances your bombs. Oh, that's not what I meant. Come on. Nope. Um. Alright. Wait. I thought grandma gave you another bottle, but apparently... Just gave me soup, which is fine. Also, okay. That was. I didn't know what these were actually called. I, I still think they're called Bobkins. But I called them Meat Meeps. Because they go Meat Meep Meat Meep. So every time I hear them, I'm always like, Meat Meeps, no! That's what they should be renamed, honestly. Let's get a petition going to rename them Meat Meeps, because it's. Way more accurate. I also need magic. Maybe? Please? There we go. Hey! Alright. Also, do you see that attic kind of to the right on top of the house? You can actually go in there, but there is nothing to gain, which I was sad. I wish I would have put, like, um, some sort of treasure chest or something. Uh, even if it was just, like, 20 rupees, just be like, hey, you, you did a thing. Thank you. We appreciate you. Uh, okay. Let's do it. Oh, and to the left. It's the whirlpool that we're going to head to next. But yeah, technically you can skip this fairy part if you're not about it. Alright, well, that was just a little unlucky. And there's the fairy. Okay. I say until I beat the game. <laughs> Alright, so you go down here. Ooh, pretty, pretty. <laughs> it's 
definitely the weirdest version of the Great Fairy, but I like it. It's better than the crazy screaming ladies, honestly. Young Wake of the Wind allowed me to aid you in your quest. Thank you. Exactly what we'd need to buy. And we have grandma soup, so what else could you really need? Okay. Let's get out of here. Not get hit. So yeah, the rest of this area it has monsters, but you don't you don't really need to interact with them. Okay. Now let's go get the third pearl. We said hello to everyone. We got fairy. I feel like grandmother. There's apparently no magic in these leaves. All right, well, did my best. Ready? That's the case. We must search around. Okay, yep. Alright. It is. Oh, it's in the very. It's like around this area, so. We'll do our best to get there in a timely manner. There it is. I did, you can still go around a few times before anything happens, so no worries at all. So let's go talk to Big Fish Man. How did he fit through that door? <laughs> That's my question. Again, play through a second kind time, you can hear what he says. Basically, before we go into it, Jiban is basically saying, you know, Link is not the actual hero. He's not connected to the timeline. But then the King of Red Lion said yes, but he shows, like, the courage of the hero, and he'll still be fine. He'll still be good enough for Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. All right. We meet indeed, Jiban. I'm pleased to see that you're safe. Yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There is no other explanation. Unfortunately, that is not so. Because as we said, is he the hero? Unfortunately, that is not so. Um, and again, the one I brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. And yet, I sense a great promise of courage that this one possesses. Which is a cute little lesson saying that you don't need to have this bloodline. You can find ama amazing magical courage within yourself and save your people, whatever. All right. I do. It is the only way. This night were indeed elements of a curse brought on us by Ganon. He must intend to cast the land to pure darkness for all time. 
I believe I have. Bye bye. All right. Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Chabon gave us, so the morning should come soon. Um, it is well that we've gathered all the pearls. Are you ready, Feywood? I have marked the places where you must put the pearls on your C chart. Once you have placed each of the pearls in its proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for Jabon uh, has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It's certain that the perils ahead will be much greater than any you have faced thus far. You should finish any business you have on outset. Do not have any regrets later. No regrets. Um, okay, so we're gonna wanna head northeast just in general. So let's get to it. Alright, northeast. There's really nothing else to do in outset. Um, other than do that sparing thing with, I think his name's Orca. Okay, cool, we're heading the right way. Uh, yeah, that's it, that's literally it. So, and I don't feel like doing that because it's gonna take a lot of time. Um, maybe I can do that later. Like, I could just like beat the game, come back and do like a lot of fun little side questy things. Oh, okay. So that is where you can use the hoi pair to get the heart piece that I was talking about earlier. Um. So yeah, now is when you kind of have free range to do whatever you want. There's no more curse. You have the pearls. Cotton, kind of gotten past the first part of the game. Oh, that's where the cyclone is. Um, that is where I would go if I had a bow and arrow, but I don't yet. So we're not going to go near it. And also, it better not come near us. Stay away, cyclone. Cyclose, stay away from me. All right. There's a fairy, but well, we need. To, first of all, we need to head a little more north. I guess we could stop. Let's stop. I'll stop. We'll see if we can. We'll like sail by it and see if we can get an upgrade. So now we're eligible, obviously, for some bomb upgrades. Um, not arrows. And then the magic is not a fairy island. There's a fish man. Also, okay, good. We're going the right way. Um, oh, we can totally do this. Totally, totally, totally. Let's go. Also, I think you have to get your mail because you need to get a letter from Tingle. So I'm gonna get the mail. Good evening, letters for Feywood. We have four letters. Here's your letter. Dear Feywood. If you're reading this, it can only mean you peeked in one of our post boxes. I'm indebted to you. I'm very sorry I left, let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt apology. Big lame post boxes. He doesn't use his real name. He's like Columbus Father. Okay, so that's one heart piece you can't avoid. That's why you gotta be very careful when doing this challenge. I think that's the only heart piece you can receive in the mail without triggering something. Beatles Ship Shop. They have bombs now. This huge opportunity. We got the beetle charts. We can find beetle wherever and whenever we need to be. 
If you wish, two swordsman, knight's crest. Okay, that's where you can get the super spin thing. Which I never really use. Sorry to disturb you. This is your big chance! Uh, Rock Spire Island. <sighs> that is where... Okay, that's all the letters, cool. Uh, Rock Spire Island is where you can get some cool stuff from Beetle. Exclusive. I think this upgrades the bombs, which will be nice. <laughs> Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid your request. Give me bombs, give me roops. Bombs, yeah, I knew it. Okay, now we can carry 60 bombs. Which would be very nice. Where the heck is Bodie McBoatface? Oh, thank God. But where did you go? All right, now that we did that cool little detour, let's head north. And get our first pearl in so we can get access to the third temple. So yeah, with the fairy islands, you can get arrow upgrades, bomb upgrades, rupee upgrades, and then if you defeat um, one of the giant octopuses to the east of Outside Island, looking on the map, can get a magic upgrade as well, which you need to do the um, Rito course south of Dragon Roost. Or else, yes, screwed. I hate dealing with this. Um, but we're almost there. No, okay. I think this is one of the worst islands, in my opinion. All right. Whose island is this? Who am I dealing with right now? No. No! Get out! And this is... Nehru. Alright. continue heading northeast. I mean, I guess completely. Okay, let's just get out of here. Let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, go, go, go. Oh, uh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Gotta love that island. Zelda orchestrated, I think it was, but I think it was really expensive. It was like forty dollars. It was crazy. Um. So yeah, I didn't get it. And I also didn't get to see the show, even though they came to my city. But they came a long time ago, and tickets were like a hundred bucks. And at the time they came, I think I was, I think I might have still been in high school, or like just graduated. That was not something I could justify buying or, or do, but. So I didn't go, and I kind of regret it, but I understand why, it's no big deal. Alright, I just remember we're almost here, okay. 
Almost, almost. See the island on the horizon. The little dot way over there. We'll get there eventually. Just listen to the beautiful music of the great sea. Alright, that. Alright, it's right there. Thank goodness. We just got Din. All right, and we need to head northwest. So let's change the wind. Nope, come on. Northwest. Excellent. All right. And there's another fair island, and we'll see if we'll detour it. Okay, let's not. Nope, come on. Ah, yeah. That's right, swirly cyclone. Be afraid of me, be very afraid. Okay. straight for the fairy island, so maybe it's a sign that we should stop. This weather's feeling a little sus. Is there a giant octopus around? Ugh. trying to grow their trees but it's not growing and it's part of the side quest to go and make sure that trees don't wither and die I just wanted to say hi I didn't need this oh my gosh yes oh my gosh I got it just want to say hello jeez Excellent. All right. <laughs> King Wake of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. Now we have so many bombs, we don't know what to do with them. Excellent. Okay. Let's finish this up. Because I'm ready to take a break. <laughs> so we've been playing, I've been playing Wind Waker all day long. Almost halfway through the game as well. Look at us go. Um, I have the correct direction, yes I do. 
And we need to head that away. That way? That way? Yes. All right. The finish line is in sight. boy. Usually when I would do this stuff, especially going recently from when we went from Windfall to Outset, which is across the whole map, I would set up my controller and be like, okay, I have to go this way, set it down, and I'd go into something else. I'd like get a snack or something because the travel is so long. Get a snack, go grab it, come back. Now, we do not want to hit this cyclone, and it's coming at me. So let's avoid it. Because if we get in the cyclone, we get teleported on the map. And we don't want to do that. Imagine being so mad that so I can't see. Oh, there it is. Imagine being, someone, being so mad that someone like destroyed something of yours. That you just turned into the cyclone. That man's got some anger issues uh, for sure. All right, let's get out, get out, get out. All right, Din. It's your time to shine. Literally, you are going to shine. Okay. Wandering travel is used to go uh, place your pearl here. There you go. I wonder what's gonna happen now. Do you guys remember that little map on Tetra's wall when we went in her bedroom? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> that poor man gets flown across the map all the time. Stretch while this cutscene happens. Whee! <laughs> Again, remember that cool little map? It was foreshadowing for this. She had already figured it out. That's just so smart. Power of the Golds. <laughs> Whoops. Poor Link should be dead by now. All the things he's been thrown across the sea and smashed his face in. Good old King Red Lions comes to save the day. This is the Tower of the Gods. This tower, which the pearls of the gods have caused to appear, is a place where the gods of the ancient world prepared so they might test the courage of men. Uh, only one who is able to overcome the trials that await here will be acknowledged by the gods as the true hero. Only then will the hero be permitted to wield the power to destroy great evil. Feywin, that is with which you must obtain now lies before you. You must believe in your own courage, which has led you to triumph over many hardships you have faced, and you must triumph once again. You must rise above the trial of the gods. All right. Woo! All right, so we are gonna quit for now for this stream. So we got really far today. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick up more. I might take a break, play more. But the thing is, I am streaming Guild Wars tonight, I think. I'm not sure. Um, so either way, I'll probably be on tonight. I'm either gonna be streaming more Zelda, or I'm gonna hop onto Guild Wars and take a break from Wind Waker for a bit and do a different game. But either way, thank
thank you for watching and hanging out with me. I love playing Wind Waker. I would honestly be doing this by myself, so it's just fun to have people to come hang out with. So, I will definitely be streaming Wind Waker tomorrow. Wait. Scratch that. I'm not sure. Uh, I think I have some things going on tomorrow. Um, but I will be on Guild Wars tomorrow. And definitely, definitely this weekend I'm going to be streaming. Um, as much as I can and we might even finish the game by like Sunday. I mean, I'm, we're just like going through it Bam bam bam. So three heart challenge We're doing great. We're almost halfway through. We're gonna tackle on Tower of the Gods next All right, let's get out of here Maybe Come on Here come on There we go All right, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye